Hi everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be up against Farhad, or Fargot, uh, Fargot. Yeah, I I'm not sure. So yeah, of course, before we start, make sure to smash the like button and turn on the notification to all notifications so you're not gonna miss an upload or stream from my channel. And yeah, subscribe. Go ahead, it's free. <laughs> okay, so um, before we go all through that, I'm just going to show you my upgrades as of this moment. My resistance is totally weak. Snipers, uh, what I don't know what's that called. I just called it sniper for some reason. Um, coyote, uh, garbage. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, what is this? Okay, so the only decent decent thing that I have upgraded are the Jaguars, and uh, it has max damage, my max gun, however not maxed out HP and armor, so it's basically the old balance except for the gun and the uh, ammo. Um, basically the, the old balance for the porcupine, as you guys can see. My Typhoons deal too much, uh, two times damage than that of my porcupine here. Mammoth, ah, oh, god, disgusting. Um, same thing goes to Chameleon, so, yeah. Dragonfly max out from the previous version of the game. Same thing to Hawks. Everything there is. Alright, oh god, I just used an Albatross with like 8 bomb upgrades. So I only have maxed out the armor and HP previously, but not the bombs. Okay, that is so dumb of me, I thought I maxed it out. Okay, that was why. Alright. <laughs> okay, and not maxed out. Kaiman, not maxed out. Alligator, not maxed out. Barracuda, and then my Wasp, which has zero upgrades at all. Class 1. Leviathan only has upgrades on HQ, or no, HP and the armor. Class 2 only. And the Mole that has never been upgraded ever since it has been released. HQ is still the same as before. So yeah for construction yard and everything so basically every building that i have here is the same as my confederation previously <clears throat> if not stronger okay uh if not weaker rather because my confederation account is stronger than my resistance right now to be honest all right so let's go ahead and do this New See, Moom is the map. By the way, I don't know who this guy is during this battle because I have no premium in my resistance. So, construction yard, fast forward a bit. We're gonna have to, of course, uh, go through all this process of collecting those containers. And, ah, oh god, out of habit, I actually produced my wasp right here. And I did not even review my resistance account even before playing. So, I act accidentally produced the wasp. Uh, out of my, you know, um, habit. Okay, so, Avia Factory now being produced, HQ Level 3, another power plant, of course, to house more power, and, uh, super dumb rifleman not getting inside that circle of the container, and I have, like, a bit of rifleman right here, scouting here, right here, oh my goodness, that is so dumb. Okay, so, HQ Level 3 is finished. We're gonna go over here and see if we can like uh, get ourselves those assaults. There's only three of them. Even though my uh, my riflemen are not maxed out, they can still lay waste to just three assault given their number advantage. As you guys can see, and he has like level three HQ. Uh, third power plant is just about to pop out. Going HQ level four even before the supply centers has been produced or built. Meanwhile. I have this for a base, I have a healthy amount of stuff right here, nothing really crazy, I'm just going to get this super container without really that much of uh, any hassle from this guy. And I was wondering why my wasp were too slow for, you know, during this battle it was because it has zero upgrades. So yeah, okay so, going HQ level 4, going Avia factory level 2. Another construction yard to expand my base at the back side of the base. Uh, back side of my uh, side right here. And then look at the damage of my wasp to those buildings. Super cute damage even though it is being built. Um, yeah, zero upgrades. <laughs> so, 
Um, yeah, I actually used the uh, the uh, Wasp Acid Strike, so it's not really that much due to the fact that it is only class 1. Okay, so this guy has HQ level 4, Vehicle Factory level 3, and APF Factory now being built. I'm gonna have to switch target, run away from that bunker which is being built at this point in time. I have a hidden infantry around here, and so on. And uh, yeah, this guy is actually quite smart as to not overreact with my initial attack. So he actually saved a ton of resources for that. Vertex is now being produced as those fans are spinning. Okay. Meanwhile, on my end, I'm going level 3 Avia Factory for Albatross. Alright. And uh, Avia Factory level, <coughs> level 2 for Hawks. Level 3 Vehicle Factory. And so on. Oh my goodness, what's that? The radius of that though okay oh my goodness look at that bunker man shredding my wasp uh, like a paper man so i'm going to have to run away and keep my wasp at least i could make use of the acid strike later on or so i thought okay so going back to my base so he's going for a full land army composition meanwhile since uh, most likely he's going to camp as you know confed doing confed stuff camping what they do best okay so um yeah we're gonna have to go for it to avia factory right off the bat one avia or one vehicle factory and one special vehicle factory we're gonna have to add two more of those uh or no um one of those later on okay and so yes this is my base for the time being an albatross is now being produced another airfield to house more of my aviation and there goes a small skirmish right there my not maxed out hawks, oh god. Okay, so I'm trying to place some hidden infantry across the map along the key points, which is this area, this area, this area, and this area, as of course it will alert me of any pending scout or whatever from any distance. Okay, so, uh, let's see now, of course, porcupine. I'm gonna have to try and demolish those uh, scouts, infantry scouts that he has. Vertex is like scanning through the map. And yep, just like what I mentioned earlier. Okay, he has typhoons as expected. And there's like that one annoying assault. I tried to somewhat spread up my, my porcupines. However, I only have one vehicle, a special vehicle factory. So basically, I'm going to, you know, I am bound to have a slow production of those porcupines all right well i'm going to add one later on okay so super container popping out right here i only got one earlier and i'm not rushing out jcp as you guys noticed because i'm focused on the avia the travel distance from his base to my base is actually quite far so using the head will actually allow you to think more clearly and you will have enough time to go a, a level 3 special vehicle factory and even a chameleon out before the army arrives at your doorstep okay so i'll have this uh special vehicle factory produce the porcupine and i'll have to upgrade this uh to a second one uh, level two okay so ah, jaguars are now going to be produced as you guys can see i have like three porcupines around here four porcupines fifth one is coming out and the fifth jaguar is out too okay so i'm gonna have to position my porcupines around here in the hopes of gathering this uh, super container which will actually give me more um advantage as you guys can see okay getting rid of some scouts which is actually quite good baiting the vertex out Okay, I already switched to an air raid boost to of course uh, intercept those vertex as soon as they pop up the map and there it goes Okay, wow the damage of my hawk was pathetic <laughs> Ah okay. oh god, what is that? Okay destroyed one vertex. That's absolutely nice. Although in at the exchange of two uh, You know at, in, at the exchange of two porcupines, so it's still not good oh. Okay, one second here. Okay, and so we now return, and uh, there's uh, like the dogfight right here. Obviously, my my hawk will take damage, and oh god, so close to capturing this flag around here. So my hawk already ran out of fuel, and those vertex actually snatched that uh, porcupine. So yeah, 
it's not a good exchange for me. I lost three porcupines, he lost one vertex, and we all know how that goes as a confed. Alright, so yeah, um, even though, yeah, I have to admit, my stuff aren't upgraded max, so, so, so that's fine. You know, I guess that's a good excuse, lol. <laughs> okay. And so we're gonna have to try and demolish as many scouts as we can. Scouting right here. Still level 4 HQ. A shield. The super, oh my goodness, imbalanced shield. Oh no. Okay, so we're moving on to the serious notes of this battle. There goes, I've already uh, had a special vehicle factory level 3 ongoing now. I have like, what, up? Uh, four or five hawks going uh more hawks later on okay so nothing really crazy here so far i'm gonna have to move my uh stuff every now and then to avoid getting bombed okay here it goes getting rid of some scouts once more oh god there it goes very nice very nice okay so i'm building up those albatross count and as you guys can see, I'm actually going to build uh, anti-air on key locations of my base. Of course, the weakness of my base is at the side. Alright, since I don't have a scout right here and right here. So a vertex can definitely snipe my my uh, my avia or airfield rather. So yeah, I need a scout and at least a defense to, you know, to defend myself, whatever. Okay, so here goes. Again, dealing some damage. One Hawk to scout. Okay, quite a sneaky tactic using one uh, assault to reveal what I have here. And then the Vertex or Thor will absolutely snipe it. Okay, scout right here got owned. He has two vehicle factory, two special vehicle factory. So a pretty standard build order. Okay, very nice. Very nice though, I have to say. Okay, first chameleon is out, second one in production, and we're gonna have to fast forward a bit. Adding more anti-air as I'm expecting him to switch over to Avia later on once the clash is over. And yeah, three hawks damage over to those vertex, although of course my hawks are not maxed out. So you need to excuse my upgrades, it's weak. Alright, it's weakly upgraded, so excuse me for that. Okay, so I'm just going back and forth around here trying to snipe that Cyclone, but failed to do so. Instead, I lost one Hawk and one second Hawk. Uh, disgusting control. Well, excuse me, I haven't played for a while. Two years, man. Going HQ level 5 at this point in time. And I'm going to have to move a, you know, move my army in the hopes of... A, an offensive stance in terms of dominating the map and getting rid of those typhoons that are of course doesn't have guards or whatever okay that cyclone can definitely see what I have here so I'm gonna have to uh, activate the chameleon fog okay and uh, the wasp zero upgrade wasp <laughs> oh god and then it died okay and I don't know okay that poor uh, that vertex lived I don't know okay so here goes the Zeus are now getting into position we're gonna be going into a straight-up clash he has more Zeus than that of my Jaggers I only have 11 Jaggers at this point and I'm gonna have to try my best to of course destroy as many things as I can so this guy has some skill I have to say all right my Jaggers are not upgraded at all um, and yeah, he can destroy units inside the fog just like I can. So this guy has some skill. All right, see that? He can destroy stuff inside the fog. Wow. <clears throat> Quite talented, I have to say. Look at that, my man. Okay, I have to say I like that skill of this guy. This guy is skilled. Don't underestimate him. Man, look at that! Ignoring my chameleon entirely and killing my Jaguars instead. What skill does this guy, man? Playing like a god. Okay, the Thors or the Albatross are now going to bomb. Absolutely trash damage because, of course, I only have very few upgrade on the bomb. So, you have to excuse me for that. Okay, so we're going to have to retreat. 
so the power gap between the upgrades of my units and his Zeus and shield are actually huge. Alright, so yeah. Okay, here it goes. Scout level 5 HQ. So I need to, you know, prepare myself for a space strike after switching over to 2 AV factory, so which I already expected because he's going to camp. Necessary thing to do is to, of course, have some units to defend, like Avia, Thors, and so on. Okay, so, retaliation would be to add another factory, because instead of moping around my base, which will lead to my defeat, I'm just gonna go on ahead and attack him instead. Baiting those Thors out to bomb my army, so I'll just have to use my spider sense to that, of course, avoid those super avoidable Thor bombing runs. Okay, there goes another scout by him. I, uh, I got like four chameleons now. Alright, there goes scout. And uh, obviously my uh, hawk will be destroyed. Another scout right here. Okay, fast forward. And there goes that annoying um, cyclone. And I'm gonna have to try and bomb once more. Destroyed what? Um, I don't know. Four, four, I believe, four typhoons or three typhoons and boost up the Zeus. Okay, so I'm going to have to activate some of my chameleons that are not covered by one another. And so I'm going to have to head over here as, of course, I do not want to engage those. And I'm expecting a Thor bombing run around here, which he is actually expecting me to go over here. But nah, we're going to have to use our brain. Ooh, the indomitable oh, wall spamming. Oh, no. Okay, so he's gonna be forced to move over here and clumped up inside his base, which leads to, you know, one by one cell in between those buildings, which is not very good. Okay, meanwhile, I have full uh, command points and are still having some units queued up. More albatross are actually being produced, and I will have more albatross at the end of the day. Now, I will have to deactivate some of my stuff right here. I only need one activated at a time, and... To, of course keep my units out of target's way all right using help uh, recovery boost to speed up the process of healing my unit okay, activating once more okay and so moving now elsewhere to of course avoid getting bombed okay so those vertex are actually very good uh you know has very good control oh mm -hmm, there's like typhoons above that clip which can see from below so I'm expecting those uh, those uh, vertex to snipe whatever it is that they can snipe. Okay, so nothing really crazy here so far. And uh, yeah. Okay. And again, I'm going to have to use the, the albatross to bomb that construction yard. And then the rest bombs the wall. So that of course it would be one shot one kill for those wolves and then i'll just rasp over here and i have a bunch of resources saved up so we're gonna have to transition over later on now those uh vertex actually ignored some of my uh, albatross let's see now okay so two albatross managed to bomb and still has like almost half hp and oh man uh-huh destroyed two of my chameleons so that was actually quite a decent bombing run but I still have my unit, so uh, thankfully I did react on time as to not lose all of my units. Now I'm gonna have to try and destroy that uh, construction yard, which prevents him from spamming like a kid with those walls. Well, you know, confed. Okay, so I'm gonna have to waltz around his base right here, and those Zeus are not, you know, are going to have a hard time catching up going in between those buildings. Oh man. So we're gonna have to try and abuse that. Okay, so we're going to have to try and abuse that, as I mentioned, and we're going to have to try and, of course, destroy the airfields, lessening his Avia prowess, as, of course, Confed Avia will always be better than Resistance Avia. Knowing that advantage or disadvantage, we're going to have to do something else to, of course, even up the notch. Okay, so those Zeus are now out of position, and keep in mind that all of his attention are directed towards my JCP, so this traction is actually succeeding. So I'm actually successful in terms of distracting him. 
Meanwhile, I am building a nuclear launcher around here to nuke the hell out of his base. So, let's go. Here it goes, and I'm gonna have to try and demolish one more airfield as best as I can and switch between one chameleon to the other. Okay, oh my goodness, just look at how tough that airfield is. <laughs> That's very tough airfield, my man. Very tough indeed. Man, this guy is maxed out airfield. <laughs> okay, so I need more time. I need more time. So I'm going to have to use the uh, albatross all right, to bomb the enemy's base so that, of course, those vertex are going to be occupied in terms of attacking my albatross instead of scouting my base. So, here goes. I'm going to have to bomb those airfields, preventing him from scouting and using the force and lessening his air, air prowess. However, he has more airfield than I expected. Okay, so I lost what? How many uh, albatross? Oh, God. Alright, so knowing that his weakness are actually over here with some airfield exposed, some of his units are actually positioned right here, we're going to have to attack right here. And again, we are just diverting attention. Just look at this guy right here. There it goes. And I'm no longer going to use a common attack boost since, of course, I'm going to focus on production to speed up the process of production of my nuclear. And so I'm just going to have to try and buy time as best as I can. And uh, yeah, there's like an assault right there and I don't want that assault to go inside my base. So I built a sniper tower around here. Okay, so I still have seven albatross right here, two more jaguars in production and a porcupine and so on. Okay, so I'm expecting the Vertex now, because he has Typhoons above the cliff. Chameleon ran out of energy, obviously. And uh, all of my stuff will be destroyed, of course. And uh, those Vertex are now going to refuel after destroying it, giving me a few more seconds before he can scout. Delicious. <laughs> my plan is working perfectly. Okay. And so I'm saving some resources because I'm waiting for what he will do after reacting to the nuclear launcher that I'm going to do. So I actually thought of some plan right here to produce some of the units that I lost to, of course, uh, you know, defend myself after he will be attacking me because after the nuke uh, drops to his base, he will be attacking me with the Zeus shield army shenanigan that he has. Okay, so look at, looking at his uh, base right here. Nuclear is now out. I'm going to use the Albatross to follow up the uh, nuclear damage because there's only a 10 second gap so that he can repair the HQ. And I'm going to drop the uh, Albatross. Upgrades on bombs is 8 only. <laughs> Pathetic upgrades on my uh, Albatross bomb. Alright, so I'm going to have to try and destroy that HQ. Let's see. Bam! Destroyed a ton of his avia around here and a ton of his administrative buildings. And here goes. He's going to try and bomb my base. However, I'm going to bomb his HQ right after the nuclear. And then those vertex are now going to catch up here. And those uh, Thors are going to bomb what I have around here. Let's see, man. Let's see. Come on! Yes! Uh, finally, man. My my albatross paid for themselves. Good job, my man. Good job, even though you're weak. Uh, all of my albatross has been destroyed. But none of those stores destroyed some of my... Uh, did not destroy anything. So, again, I am expecting him to attack me with his full force with those Zeus and shield that has not been touched. So, to retaliate against that, I'm going to have to use Grenadiers. Grenadiers? barracks added more barracks as you guys can see and then i'm still using a production boost to speed up the process of production and yeah speed up again and i'm gonna have to try and attack him to of course you know um divert his attention from attacking me buying me some time to prepare my army to defend there it goes and I saw some Zeus around here, so he's moving his main force. So basically, the moment I went out, it's already too late. 
So he already has been traveling across the map for already half my base. So at this point in time, I'm just going to have to retreat because there's no way in hell that I can go ahead and compete with that. And this is going to be the last stand. Okay, so I'm going to have to spread out my unit one cell at a, uh, you know, one cell um, distance at one another so that the splash damage of the Zeus will only affect two units at a time instead of three or four or five or whatever. So yeah, two chameleons have been, has been activated. Most of the time he will be focused on firing or force firing at some units that are inside the fog instead of the, of the units that are outside the fog. So grenadiers are here to help out. One chameleon has run out of energy. Another chameleon will be popping out right there. And yes, just like that, his army will be destroyed and yeah he's actually being ganged up upon by a good concave or a, a you know a uh, jaguars that are in a good position and grenadiers that are mowing down his zoos so i don't really care if you have a shield or whatever this is not gonna work out <laughs> this, oh my goodness gone for him oh no gone for him boy shield him boy Oh no, wall spamming him, boy! <laughs> okay, so again, kudos to this guy. He's still trying to, of course, um, get to that uh, super container. However, it's not gonna work out. He's still going to have to try and snipe whatever I have here. Activating the chameleon once more. He's going to have to try and destroy my nuclear. However, at this point, I don't really care if he destroyed it or not because I'm just going to swat out his base. Regardless if I do have a nuclear or not. So I don't really need the nuclear. I don't really know why he went there. I think he I you know I think he was not expecting me to go up his base and attack him and not give him time to recover. As he still has two Avia Factory regardless of the HQ. Activating the chameleon once more. Okay only have one porcupine around here and I don't really care and yeah and at this point in time it's going to be clear as day as to who will win this battle so we're gonna have to fast forward and yes guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe smash the like button turn on the notification to all notifications so you're not gonna miss an upload or stream from my channel likewise guys Thank you for watching, have a great day, and good luck with your battles. Ah, look at this, uh, confeds, man. You were created for me to do my contract. Ah, satisfying. Always, always hiding behind walls, man, that's so dumb. <laughs> Oh, Godpa Imba! Oh no, look! Vertex Imboy! <laughs> oh my goodness! Grenadier Imboy! Hmm, needs bath! Oh no! <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, have yourself a great day, and good luck with your battles! Bye everyone!